I'm gonna go back inside because there was another box. Okay, so I think that's random too. Start down the alleyway and then there's a <coughs> barrel and this is random. And as you turn the corner, there's another box. Okay, there was a box right here, but I think Sheva got it. And what's inside that is random as well. And this is like a bus that's sort of burned out. Be sure to come to the dashboard because there's always a hand grenade there, which is useful. And then behind the bus is another barrel. And I think that, yeah, that's random too. And then there's one last herb here, and I'll go ahead and take that. Uh, the next part is where you fight the boss, and he's up these stairs, but before we go up there, come back a little bit and then shoot this uh, transformer or whatever. If you're lucky, you can get him to come by it, and you'll, you'll get one shot and fry him a little bit. Um, it doesn't do a whole lot, but, you know, every bit helps. So, first I'm going to give her my rifle, since I don't like using it. Um, I'm going to give her the rifle ammo. Thanks, partner. All of it. I owe you one. Thanks, partner. And I'm going to request the machine gun. Give me the machine gun. And the machine gun ammo. Okay. If she had any um, incendiary devices or um, hand grenades, then you'd want those too. Unless you're playing with a partner, and then the partner can, you know, handle that. But make sure that if your guns aren't reloaded, reload them. And then we're going to start up this staircase to trigger a cutscene. And I'm going to cut the cutscene. You can see that in other people's videos. Run down fast. Turn around fast. Because he moves really, really fast. Shoot that. You're going to get one hit, really. Um, these barrels... Eventually, I'm going to use them, hopefully, to damage him. But first, I'm going to come all the way down here and shoot this first one. But wait till he gets close. Taking his own sweet time. Where is he? Okay, here he comes. Shoot the barrel when he gets close. Make sure you shoot it when he's up. And, you know, so it hits his front. I think it does more damage rather than if he runs past it and then you shoot it. So shoot this one when he comes around the corner. And hopefully, Shove is not going to get in the way. Wait, he came around the other way, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> she led him through the building. You know, leading him right to me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sheva. Shoot this one. Okay, just uh, when he goes down, empty into him as best you can. Don't, don't hold around and don't. Ah! That was lucky. He turned around on his own, didn't he? He definitely could have come and taken us both out right there. I'm going to go down this alleyway, and I'm going to take out one of my grenades. And throw that. <laughs> oh, crap. She got hurt. avoid getting hit and uh, she got hit again. Uh, she's messing me up here. Okay, let's see. She would move a little bit faster. Where's that guy? Oh, she was right there. Oh, uh, she just shot the barrel. Sorry, her. Where did he go? I lost him. <laughs> this, is, this is not a good run for me. 
I don't normally have this much trouble. But where the heck is it? Let's see, I'm going to get out of another grenade. Okay, run back. Ah. This is like where everything goes wrong. Okay. <laughs> Which I guess isn't a bad thing to show. I mean because it's sometimes good to show what happens when everything goes wrong can you still get through the level. I just hope I don't run out of time for this video. Now I can, if I wasn't constrained for time <coughs> because of uh, YouTube, I wouldn't be in a hurry, but I am. I'm gonna unload one more handgun clip and then I'm going to break out my automatic. And you see there aren't any other bad guys right now. Oh, and he's down. Okay, and I didn't even need my automatic. Normally I use it. And you pick up the key off of him and you need that to get out of this area. I would look around, but again, I'm pressed for time. Run up the street where he came out of, round the corner, there's a barrel here, it's random what you get, and we're going to use the key we took out of him to open this door. Okay. And then there's a chest down here with various items in it, like a, a ruby square, gold bars an emerald pear. I don't know what, what these shapes mean. There's a topaz pear. I don't know, maybe he's playing like Bejeweled Quest or something. I don't know. So get everything out of there and then you come down to where this little gate is, open it, and that's the end of the level. I hope this helps you get through this level on your own.